Today, we're gonna work on the Mustang. The Mustang. So, we got, what do we gotta do today? We got a wire. We got a wire. It's not fun, but we got a wire. We're gonna wire the fan, because I guess you need fans. We're gonna wire the trans brake, and we're gonna wire the two-step, all at the same time, coincidentally. So, let's get started. What are we doing here today? All right, right so we're going to take off our original tune on here so that we can put it on the laptop. Uh, we're going to program some inputs and outputs. We're going to wire up our electric fan and we're going to take a look at wiring up our trans brake. So, first thing we got to do is we got to turn power on to the vehicle. Is that the engine running already or what's going on there? It's one of those fancy fuel pumps. All right, then once you've got it booted up, we're gonna hit file. We're gonna hit global configs. And the latest and greatest tune is on the ECU. So we're gonna download from ECU. And then we wanna save it to our SD card. And now it should be saved. So now we can power off. And then we're going to pull out our SD card out of our Terminator X. So just so you can see, well, SD card sits here in the side. So we can just pop that out and now we can take it to our laptop. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do a screen share so you guys can actually see what we're doing. Uh, we have our Terminator X V2 software open. We're going to go ahead and open global file. Now, if we have it hooked directly to the uh, Holly Terminator X through a USB to our laptop, we would just download from ECU. But since we're doing it off of the SD card, we're going to go ahead and hit open global file. We're going to choose our create new directory and we're gonna to navigate to where we have our tune saved. So for this, we're gonna use this test tune. We're gonna go ahead and open that up. So the first thing we're gonna do is click on this Spark ICF tab. And we're gonna go over here on the left-hand side and we're gonna choose rev limiters. You can see rev limiter number one is not enabled. So we're gonna go ahead and check that box. And we're gonna set our RPM to 3,500. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the system ICF tab. We're gonna go down to basic IO on the left-hand side. And you can see we have options for electric fan number one and number two. Since we only have one, we're gonna select fan number one and we can set these to whatever we want. So we'll say turn on at 195 and turn off at 185. So down here you can see for fuel pumps, once we do our second fuel pump, we'll be able to go ahead and control that here through the software as well. We also have staging control, so when we do our bump, we can do that right through the Terminator X, and we can set all that up as well. 
Now we're going to go ahead and select the inputs outputs ICF. We're going to start with our inputs. So, and you can set these up however you want. This is just how we set ours up. So the first input we're going to call trans break input, and then we're going to go over and select enable. Now we're going to head over to our output, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to say our output is going to be trans break output. And then we'll also go over here and do enable. After we enable it, we're going to select configure. And we want our switched input trigger number one. We want this output to activate when our trans break input is enabled. So we can go back. We're going to go to the pin map. And here you can see all the unassigned inputs. So our inputs, we want our rev limiter number one as input number one, as well as our trans brake input. Now, if we use our second button on our steering wheel, we can use that for our bump and we can do staging input as our second input here. But for now, we're gonna leave that alone. Now we can go up to our view outputs and do the same thing. We're gonna do our electric fan as our first output and our trans brake output as our second output. Now, when we're doing our wiring, we just want to make sure that we use pin B12 for our electric fan output and pin B11 for our trans brake output. Same thing for our inputs. We want to use A12 for our trans brake input. So for now, that's all we're doing. We can go ahead and hit done. Now, if, again, if we had this hooked up to the Terminator through the USB on our laptop, we would just sync with ECU. I think there's an option to save to ECU here, but we're going to do file, save global file. And then we save that to our SD card, which we can now go load back up into the Terminator X uh, three and a half inch screen on the car. All right, so what we got going on here is we have our input output harness for the Terminator X. We have located our wire that we're gonna use for our electric fans. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pin this. We've got special connectors for our leash uh, street strip board. So we're gonna get connect this onto here. We've got all of our equipment here. I've got weather pack connectors that we're gonna actually hook to the fan. That way we can plug and unplug our electric fan. Uh, if we ever got to do any wiring and then over here we're going to be hooking up the electric fan to our negative trigger here so this is i believe letter g so our input is going to come in on this side so we'll run the terminator into here our negative trigger output is then going to go to our electric fan so we'll get started.
right, so we got our weather pet connectors on our harness. This harness is going to go from the electrical board and our negative uh, like bulkhead to the front of the car. And then we have our fan that also has our weather pack fitting on it. So should look very nice when it's done. Take a look at this harness that we made. Woo! Looks very, very clean. Semi-professional. Nice. <laughs> yep. So we're going to go ahead and stick it in the car now, and then we're going to go ahead and get it wired up, and that way we can test it. What's up, Harbor Freight? this to our negative trigger which is the same as our input so our input here our output here tight is tight tight is broke six out good guys Good for my house. Alright, we're sitting here waiting for our coolant temp sensor to hit 195, make sure our fan kicks on like we want it to. So here at one more degree, we should see fan number one turn on. There it did. Sounds like the fan kicked on, so let's take a look. Sure enough, the fan has kicked on, so everything seems to be working like it should. All right, give you guys a little idea of where we're at now. We just finished up wiring the trans brake button, which is right there on the steering wheel. Click, click, click. And the trans brake is now going to go through our holly take, as an input through the holly. The holly is going to see that, and it's going to trigger the output, like we were uh, talking about in the tuning video earlier. The holly is going to go ahead and take an, that input, send it to a negative signal output. So it's going to be negative in, negative out. It's going to go through the holly's output and into this leash board. So how we're controlling that is that once the holly sends that negative output signal, it's going to be coming to this T, this one marked right here, 
TBS negative. And what's it's going to do is that TBS negative, once it gets the negative signal from the holly, it's going to trigger the relay on board here to jump this positive, which is TBS positive there, to the TBS output, which goes directly to the transmission. So TBS negatives coming in. We have a jumper wire for TBS positive from ignition positive. So once we get that negative signal, it actually connects the relay to give power from this 12 volt positive to the output going into the trans brake. So this one runs right to the transmission. So once we click that button, you'll hear the relay fire. There's actually a light right underneath here that actually light up to tell us that we actually have a full connection to the trans brake. And then you should hear the trans brake click. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on real quick. Uh, we're going to turn the power on and then we're going to show you guys how that uh, kind of works out. So power on, fuel pump priming. So he's going to press that button and you're going to see, yep, click, click, click. So yep, you see right there the lights lighting up when he presses that button. That's showing that it's working perfectly. So I don't know, what's else left? Just test a two-step? Two-step trains break. Yep. So everything we set up in the Holly software is going to tell it that when it gets that signal from that button, it's going to activate the trans brake and it's going to activate the two-step both at the same time. So then we set the two-step at 2,500 RPM, so that's where it's going to kick on. So we're going to go ahead and test that. Successful test, huh? I think so. I think we did everything right. For once. It happens once in a while. So, you saw it. Successful test to here. Trans brake, two-step, fan. They all work. Holy crap, right? So, you know, I think that's a good spot to end it off. Yep. All right. Well, do the necessary. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.